So you've heard us talk about Moses before and about the long journey that he and the Israelites had for so many years. Remember when they first fled Egypt from the Pharaoh? Where they parted the Red Sea to escape the soldiers? When they wandered through the desert for 40 years and when they finally arrived to the mountain to receive the Ten Commandments? Well, now they're at the final leg of their journey. Before they reached the land that they were promised by God in the very beginning, and sadly, Moses isn't with them anymore, but now they have a new guy in charge. His name is Joshua. And Joshua, in the final, final section of this journey, leads them up a very tall mountain. And they gaze down below to the base of the mountain. And they see a city sitting in the place where they are supposed to be, the promised land, a city. Jericho. And surrounding Jericho are these huge walls. Huh. And it was at this time that the Israelites realized that something strange was going to happen. After all, why would God promise them a land that people were already living in? So the people stood just outside of Jericho standing at the base of these tall, tall walls. And it was terrifying to look at them. And they wondered what would happen now. But God came to Joshua, and instead of telling him that they were going to go around Jericho, God told him that they were going to take over the city. With what army will we take them over? But Joshua listened to God's plan and told the Israelites what they would do. He said, we will need priests, soldiers, and everyone else to pull this off. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna count off seven of you priests. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're each going to play a shofar. Kinda looks like this. And you play it. You're gonna play it all day long. Even if your lips get tired, keep on playing. And now you soldiers, take your weapons walk in front of the priests, the rest of you. I want you to walk behind the priests that are playing their shofars, but you should walk very quietly. All right, any questions? None? Let's go. We're gonna walk around the city like this all day long. All day long? Yeah. The Israelites wondered how God's plan was going to work as they looked at these thick city walls. How on earth were horns and walking going to do anything? The people of Jericho looked over the walls at them just as curious, and they didn't know whether to be afraid or to laugh at the Israelites. The horns were so loud, the people of Jericho could hear them through the thick stone walls. What was happening out there? But the Israelites kept marching left, right, for six whole days, the Israelites walked around Jericho, around and around and around, and the people within the city looked upon them. But on the seventh day, Joshua told them at sunrise to go to the city and walk around it seven times. And at the seventh time, Joshua told the people, Priests, Priests play, your play your horns, horns one, last one last time. time. Everyone, Everyone else, else shout, shout to, to the walls, walls of Jericho. Of Jericho. Little did they know what would happen. They had shouted so loud that the ground began to shake. The thick stone walls began to shake too. Soon the walls started to crumble as huge stones crashed to the ground and the walls came tumbling down. The Israelites had defeated the city of Jericho without a single soul getting hurt. What a crazy story, right? A battle that really didn't seem like much of a battle. You see, God often has these miraculous things planned that aren't very apparent at first. It's crazy what we can do when we learn to put our faith and our trust in God. Sometimes what he asks us to do may seem a little silly at first, but there's just a few things that we could do. Maybe helping someone across the street, giving someone a, a meal, or perhaps being nice to someone that you don't really like. Maybe you'll break down a few walls of your own. There's so many more things I could tell you. And I can't wait to get to those stories, but it'll have to wait for another time. And I can't wait to tell you those.